next to talk about the 2017 IASA conference, please welcome founder of It's Never Too Late, Jack York. <laughs> Good morning. Within your own organization, even within your own everyday life, it all comes down to choices. Every day, hundreds of choices stare us in the face. Some are big and some are small, coming from all directions. Three years ago, I was where all of you were right now, and that was sitting in a leading age general session, listening to somebody talk about IASA, and the benefits of attending the upcoming conference that was gonna be in Perth. So there it was, a choice in front of me. Can our company afford the trip? Will I learn anything? Is it worth being out of the country for 10 days? My company's nickname is Ready, Fire, Aim. So I jumped off the cliff, we got the tickets, and headed to the other side of the planet. And my life, in all sincerity, will never be the same. On a business level, I saw multiple complementary technologies to what we do, things about sensors and telehealth, incredibly innovative, innovative work being done in the senior world, things I had not seen oftentimes in the US. It's fascinating to see the inroads that technology is making into aging. On a demographic level, I saw and learned how countries of all shapes and sizes are more similar than they are different, dealing with issues of dementia, of aging populations, reimbursement models, but the problems that they're trying to, the, the problems are similar, but the innovation and the solutions they're coming up with are, are different and very unique. It was fascinating to see that. On a catastrophic level, and I'm not sure if Maj is somewhere in the audience, but I inadvertently blew out the fuses about 30 minutes before he was given a cast session, and I tried to act like it wasn't me and kind of sneak out the back of the room, but he was, uh, he was on to me, and it all worked, everything worked out okay, but he, uh, I think he got about 10 grand of additional sponsorship from us because of the, uh, the guilt that I felt on that. On a culinary level, I learned about the nuances of Australian beer. With extra credit work, I was able to pick up on that. That was very, a very good social thing. But on a personal level, a very, very personal level, I was profoundly impacted. I was put together as part of an innovation, uh, innovation team to talk about different things people are doing around the world. And sitting next to me was a gentleman I had never met before named Francis from Cameroon, Africa. Francis captivated the, the crowd, the people in the session, telling the story of his personal crusade to combat the brutal way that, the, that women and the elderly are treated in his home country. To me, it was a metaphor of the Tiananmen Square teenager that stood up against the tank. His own life was put at risk with some of the things that he, that he did. It was fascinating to, to see his performance. And the, the audience was captivated, and it was all delivered in his exquisite African garb. I was enthralled with the story. And upon coming uh, back to the US, we made a modest donation of, of $500. With that donation, and you can see on the screen, he set up the Jack York Elderly Women's Sustainable Goat Rearing Project in Northwest Cameroon. The $500 set up a total of nine sustainable goats that went into several villages. He sent videos to me of, of multiple African elders in their native garb chanting, Jack York, Jack York, Jack York. It, uh, it was one of the villages actually named their goat Jackie in my honor. So you can see Jackie right there. You can't make that stuff up. The outcome astounded me, completely astounded me. And I spread the word of his work to my friends in the, in the senior living world and invited him to come to the US. And just this last summer, just a few short months ago, uh, Francis and I drove, he, he was welcomed with open arms by the country. We wound up driving from New Orleans to uh, Las Vegas. From there, we flew to San Francisco, Colorado, DC, Maryland, and New York. The entire country 
opened up to this gregarious man from a country that probably 98% of us could not tell where it is on a map. Leading Age was, a, was completely involved in this whole experience. We went to Front Porch in California. Roberta is out here somewhere. They had an $11,000 check to deliver to him for the work that he's doing. Uh, we went to Integrace in Maryland. I think Cindy and some folks are out here. They are actually setting up an exchange program of their, some of their staff from Cameroon is going to be sending back and forth uh, their, their care staff uh, with Francis and the folks over there in Cameroon. It's, it's phenomenal. Western Home in Iowa, Chris Hansen, and we're out there, they set up a, a, a pass-through organization so that we could have the funding get 100% uh, of it get to the work that Francis is doing. So collectively, with help from a lot of friends in the aging space, we're raising money to open a senior recreation center in Cameroon that I'm invited to christen and will attend at its grand opening on uh, my brother's birthday, April 22nd, 2017. Hundreds, if not thousands of lives in Cameroon will be changed from this recreation center. And this experience has actually opened my eyes and our company's eyes. We're gonna be establishing our own foundation to support this type of work in 2017 and beyond. Every one of these things happened because of IASA. So Switzerland beckons all of you. An open invitation is extended the fall of 2017. Don't go there as a boondoggle or as a vacation or to climb the Alps. You can do all that. I'm certainly going to do that when I go over there. But go there to learn. Go there to teach. Go there to listen and to exchange ideas. Learn from the best of the best and send your best. Maybe it's a CNA or an activity director or a social worker. We all have so much to give and we all have so much to receive. So you're there right now. The choice is yours. You're sitting where I was three years ago. Because I said yes, the trajectory of my entire life's journey is altered for the better. So this is your moment. Look beyond your own shores for inspiration, for motivation, and if you're as lucky as I was, you'll find your own Francis and perhaps have a goat named in your honor. <laughs> so I will never regret it, and you won't either. I'll see you in Switzerland. Thank you.